Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Um, I said in my last video that I would do a uTorrent video. Um, basically how to torrent programs, games, um, movies, music, pictures, bunch of stuff. Whatever you can torrent straight onto your um, Android phone. So, pretty simple. Basically what we're really going to be doing is um, figuring out how to get torrents and um, where to put them. So basically what we first have to do, what we have to do first is go to the Play Store, oh, wrong way around. Um, go to the Play Store and search for uTorrent. So they basically have, there's an official app, there's, as you can see there's a couple of different ones that aren't really the right ones, but the official one is the one that's actually by BitTorrent Incorporated themselves. So all you do is click this. You can see some screenshots, or they'll um, uh, read the ratings and stuff. As you can see, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. We go up, you'll install it, and then uh, when you open it, you'll be given uh, whoops. you'll be given basically a blank screen. You won't you won't have a lot of stuff to do. But what you can do is oh, there's a cat at the window. Um, what you can do is download torrents. So what we do is we press the search bar, the uh, menu bar, and we can add a torrent URL itself, so if we already know it, or we can um, search for them. So we go up here to the top right corner and do search. Now, what it will basically do, the, the search um, feature isn't too good. What, what it basically does is you put something in, say you want to, I don't know, Clash of the Titans, or you want some music, so you think, okay, ACDC. So, AC DC. So you want AC DC. Did it work? So basically, all it does is it Google searches it for you but adds torrent on the end. So what happens a lot of the time is if you try a website, if you're in this country anyway, it's gonna get blocked. And try a different one. Which is basically the same same site it's going to get blocked. So a good way to use it is there's a bunch of proxies but at the moment if you go on proxy bay you have to do is google it and it'll give you this site proxybay.info so you can click on that and depending on your country um, you can there's a bunch of different ones so I'm in the UK so this is the top of the list so it'll be very fast Bam, you've got it. So, what you can do there is you can search for the torrent you want. So, let's find a torrent. Uh, one bad thing is it will probably bring pop-ups. See, so say Outcast. We want a bit Outcast. So, we click it, we do pirate search. As the actual website will be, it just brings everything up. And to find the best to be able to be seeded the oh, whoops let's find the best to be able to seeded we scroll to this and we click SE or we try there we go so then there we go it will bring us the top seeded for outcast there aren't many but if you're looking for the latest episode of Game of Thrones or you're looking for a new movie that's just come out there's obviously going to be a lot more seeds. I think um, Game of Thrones Episode 6 had something like 52,000 on Pirate Bay or more. Um, and it can be in excess of that or it can be less than that. It just depends on what you're looking for. So we find something, we like it. So I've already downloaded this, but we click on the torrent. Again, another pop-up, unfortunately. You, if you use Chrome on... Um, your uh, phone, you can enable ad blocker so you don't get ads on your phone either, but I, I don't really care. So once you find it, you can read the comments to see if it's any good. If you like it, all you have to do is click get this torrent. It will immediately put it into your download list straight away. Um, also, if you're not going through the app and you're just on the Internet Explorer anyway and you're just searching for it, it will do the same thing. If you find a torrent link, um, whether it's on Kickass Torrents or um, uTorrent, uh, not uTorrent, on um, on Pirate Bay, 
as soon as you press the download torrent or whatever the magnet link is, it will bring it straight to your phone. So you, with this app, so you don't you don't have to worry about um, finding it through the app and searching for it in your files and any of that rubbish. It goes straight to your phone. So what we have now is it's scanned the torrent, it's found out what there is, and you can change the download location to where you want it to go. You can um, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Um, and you can see what the files are. So here, it's got however many t files there are. It's about 30, 31. So here, say I've already got this one, and I've already got that one, and that one. You can just untick them. Or maybe you just want that one. So you unselect them, and you can just click the ones that you, that you do want. So after you've done that, all you have to do is press OK, and then Add. And it will, it will queue it and immediately start downloading. So here, obviously, it, it will it will do the thing that torrents do, where it says it's going to take a lot longer than it will. It depending on what you're downloading, it and obviously depending on how your internet is, it will um that will factor on how long it takes to download. But it's very easy to use, um, and basically everything just gets saved wherever you save it. So I've already downloaded this. So if you hold down and press it, you can, well actually if you just press it once, you can see the information, see what's being downloaded and how far each one has gotten. You can see the details, you can see the download speed, how long it's going to take, how many peers and how many seeds you have, and also the download location, which you can change there easily. So um, you can pause stuff. If you've got multiple downloads, um, multiple torrents downloading, you can just pause it and leave it until something else is downloaded if you're trying to, if a movie's taken up all your... Um, internet. So I've already got this album so I'm just going to hold it down and what you can do here is you can just delete it. Now you can delete the just the torrent and leave the files or you can delete all the downloaded files and just press OK. And then if it saves where you want it to when you go into music you can go to artists go down to outcast and I've already got a bunch of them but there you go great sets. You've got them see they've been doubled because I downloaded them again. So everything will be kind of put where you want it to. If you save it in particular places, you'll be able to find it really easily. And um, it's really, really easy. Oh, my um, it's very easy app to use. Obviously, it's free because you're not going to pay for torrents. Um, one thing is it does run in the background. Um, that's normally fine, it's kind of, a lot of the time it's just if you're downloading something but if you don't want it to download for whatever reason, you just open it, you go to menu, exit, yes, and there you go, and it's done. So, really, really easy um, app to use, and um, you can get pretty much anything you want straight to your phone instead of downloading it on your computer and then dragging it over to your phone or putting it on Dropbox, then re-downloading it and all of that rubbish. So. Um, thanks for watching, and um, if there's anything else you need to um, uh, need help with, whether it's Android stuff, whether it's computer stuff, whether it's Mac stuff, then let me know. And if I can do it, I'll make a video on it. Okay, thanks a lot.